Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, I welcome you all to this particular video. Here we are with chapter 5 of our microwave engineering, the avalanche transit time devices we have discussed so far. So in this family of avalanche transit time devices, we have gone through the understanding of the reed diode, impact diode, the trapped diode, buried diode, the parametric various devices and the parametric amplifiers we are covered with. Based on to the understanding of parametric amplifiers, let us practice problem number one. So here we are provided with the problem statement. An up converter parametric amplifier has the following parameters. The first parameter is expressed as the ratio of output frequency over signal frequency. It is represented as F sub x 0 by F sub x s is equal to 25. So here F sub x 0 is the output frequency, F sub x s is the signal frequency. The next parameter is given the figure of merit. The figure of merit is represented as gamma in multiplication to capital Q. This value is equal to 10. The next one is factor of merit figure. The factor of merit figure is given to us as gamma holding the value 0 0.4. Next is the diode temperature represented as capital T sub X D. The value it is 350 degree Kelvin. Now with these given parameters we are asked to calculate in the part A the power gain in terms of decibels. In the part B, the noise figure again in terms of decibels and in the part C, the bandwidth. So let us have computation of answer for part A. Now in the part A, we are required to make computations for power gain. As per the formulation, the power gain can be expressed as, here we write, power gain is equal to it has F0 by Fs in multiplication to the ratio where numerator is x and the denominator forms a bracket which is squared and the bracket has 1 plus square root of 1 plus x. Now we can get back to the problem statement for the values that are needed to make computations here. So from the given values into the problem statement we can make the direct use of the ratio f0 by fs the individual values are not given but a ratio of the two is given hence we can make substitution of 25 in place of f0 by fs here along with f0 by fs we require x to be here so in this particular case x can be substituted as the ratio of 100 divided by 25 so therefore, by the next step, we can make substitutions. So this becomes 25 in multiplication to here the numerator, it will be 100 divided by 25. In the denominator, we get 1 added with square root of 1 plus 100 divided by 25. And the bracket is completed, which is further squared. To the next step, we can get this 25 and this 25 cancelled. This 25 is in the numerator, this 25 is in the denominator. Hence, this will be left with 100 only. In the denominator, inside the parenthesis here, we have the second term to be of square root that has 100 divided by 25. So, 100 divided by 25 will be equal to 4 added to 1 so this becomes under root 5 here so this bracket will be 1 plus square root of 5 which is to be squared here finally making the square root available here adding it with 1 getting it square and dividing to the 100 we obtain the value of the power gain as 9.55 now as this is the gain, we directly don't put any unit here, but now when 
it is to express in terms of decibels we can take this particular value with 10 log 10 representation here so by taking 10 log to the base 10 of 9.55 we obtain the answer in decibels as it is 9.80 decibels so this is the required power gain so i outline this particular value and this becomes answer to the part a here so getting back to the problem statement out of the three portions now we are covered with part a answer now we require to calculate the noise figure in terms of again the decibels here now for calculation of noise figure we have a formulation for part b the noise figure can be represented as capital f given as one added with toys t sub x d divided by t sub x zero in the bracket here we have one divided by gamma into q added with one divided by in the bracket gamma into q is squared here so this is the formula now we can get back to the problem statement in the current formula to obtain the noise figure we can make the use of figure of merit that is gamma multiplied to the q here along with the diode temperature td here so here we are available with the value of diode temperature td the gamma into q and the square of it also now we require t sub x 0 t sub x 0 is the standard temperature so here we can substitute it to be 300 degree kelvin therefore by the next step we obtain f is equal to 1 added with 2 in multiplication to 350 the diode temperature divided by 300 the value of t0 in the bracket here we have 1 upon gamma into q value is provided that is 10 again added to the ratio of 1 upon 10 is squared here so therefore we simplify it to the form 1 plus here 2 into 350 will become 700 divided by 300 in the bracket here we have 1 divided by 10 added with 1 divided by 100 here so therefore the value of f to the next step is obtained to be 1.26 now taking 10 log to the base 10 of 1.26 we can express the value of f in terms of decibels here so therefore we express f is equal to the obtained value after taking 10 log to the base 10 of 1.26 gives 1.00 hence we keep it as 1 in terms of decibels i outline this particular value and this way we are covered with the answer for part b so here we are obtained with the noise figure as the value is 1 decibel here lastly we require to compute the bandwidth as the answer for part c now for obtaining the bandwidth here we have a formulation in part c bandwidth can be represented as capital bw and the formulation is toys into gamma in multiplication to the square root of the ratio here we have f0 divided by fs here getting back to the problem to see the given details the ratio of output frequency to the signal frequency is equal to 25 and we can also make the use of factor of merit figure that it is gamma is equal to 0.4 now substituting these values to compute the bandwidth here we obtain the next step as 2 into 0.4 in multiplication to the square root of here we have square root of the value of f0 upon fs is equal to 25 here therefore we can get it to the form 2 into 0.4 into square root of 25 is equal to 5 5 into 2 it will be 10 into 0.4 so this becomes 
4 as the answer here. So here we have the bandwidth for the parametric amplifier obtained to be the 4 value here. The value is outlined here. So this completes the computation of the power gain, noise figure and the bandwidth for the up converter type of parametric amplifier. By the next lecture, we shall be having a practice of problem 2 based on to again the another type of parametric amplifier. I hope you are getting the details of microwave engineering very well. For more information and knowledge of the subject, you can subscribe to ECLDA channel. Thank you.